Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at some other ways to solve some of the issues that have come up with the changes to Server 5.4. And so, as we've talked earlier, uh, there have been some changes to the WebDAV shares. Uh, I did a screencast on how to set that up in my last screencast, and I know some of you are still having issues with it. And so you're having this problem of how do I now access my files on my iOS devices? How do I make that work so that I can keep, uh, keep having access? Because when Apple had it all integrated, it worked out really well because they had a server login and all of your shares would show up and that sort of thing. So it's going to be a little bit more of a uh, change for some of you in process, but we'll be using some familiar applications to make it work. So the first thing that we want to do uh, to access the shares, if we're not using WebDAV, if that's not working for you, is we want to use VPN. Okay, So VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, and I've done screencasts previously on how to set this up. So you can go ahead and take a look at some of those screencasts uh, in my uh, library of uh, tutorials that I've done. I'll, I'll end up doing another one for uh, High Sierra most likely, but... I just want to show you how to set this up right now. For those of you that are already set up, I'm just trying to solve some problems for you so that you can get things up and running. Uh, so this is VPN. So what you want to do is set up your VPN service and turn it on and have it ready to go. And so you can see here I've got mine up and running because we're going to use VPN to uh, kind of put all of this together. Now, file sharing uh, takes place in System Preferences. So let me just pull up System Preferences for a minute. We're going to go to Sharing. And I want to show you the file sharing for a minute because you can see all of these different items that I've got here. And you'll notice that what it says is that you can access your file shares on your Mac with either AFP or SMB, depending on how you set this up. So again, if we uh, come in here to, let's say, this particular uh, file here, and if I just control click on it, and I say advanced options. Uh, you want to make sure that you have set this up with SMB, okay, so that you're sharing over SMB itself. Uh, if you want to have it encrypted, like I've got this one, then SMB is the only way to do it, not AFP. You could set this up for, if I just uncheck this, you could set it up for a SMB and AFP if you wanted to. And you may want to do that if you're not concerned about uh, encrypted connections, mainly because you're using VPNs. So you don't have to worry about that that much. So you'll probably want to set it up uh, with SMB and AFP. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna change it to that and say okay. So I've got that set up and ready to go. Now the other thing you're gonna to wanna to do is come into options here, and you wanna make sure that for Windows file sharing you have your account turned on so that you can use Windows file sharing because we're going to be using that to access our shares remotely on our iOS devices. And you wanna make sure, again, these two are checked or just one of them depending on if you wanna just use one protocol or another. All right, so I'm going to say done. So I've got that set up and, and ready to go. Now you'll notice that right here it says I can connect to the volumes at AFP with the colon there. And then I've got two, I've got my local IP address uh, of my machine or of my server. Okay, so I've got that right there. That's going to come in handy because I'm going to need to use that. One of the things to understand about VPN is that when you VPN into your local network, what happens is, is it looks like your machine, even though it's remote, whether that be an iOS device or a Mac, is sitting on your local network. So that when you VPN in, it actually gives you a local IP address, and that's where it sends all the traffic back and forth from. What we're going to do is then use that to connect to local share volumes. Now what's great about this is you can use this for network shares, you can use this for uh, any machines that you have on your network where you've got file sharing set up so that you can access different files and folders. Now, one of the things about this is usually when you use your administrative password to log in, it will show all of the devices that you have access to as things that you can mount. So just know that that's the case if you're using an administrative account or your local account on your machine. Now, you can do other things with your other accounts to limit what they see, but if you start to see all of your drives and stuff showing up when you log in, that's why that's there. Okay, so now that we've got this set up, we, we know that these are the numbers that we want to use. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to my iPhone and I'm going to show you what it looks like to set this up uh, so that the shares are working. Okay, so here I am over on my iPhone. And uh, so first thing I want to do if I want to try to connect to these remote shares is I need to VPN in to my server. Uh, so if I just come into system, uh, into the settings here, 
Uh, you can see I'm off the Wi-Fi, which is interesting, even though it shows the fan at the top, I am off Wi-Fi. And so what I'm going to do now is connect to VPN. You can see my little VPN slider down there, which I've already set up. And uh, to set up VPN, just in case you don't know how to do that, uh, you want to come into General. You want to scroll all the way down here uh, to, the, to the bottom here uh, where it says VPN. You come in here and you will add a VPN configuration. In here, you'll want to change it to L2TP, and then you'll put in your server uh, name right here, your account, uh, whatever that is, uh, you know, and it, like let's say Tato or something like that, and make sure it's the lower, it's the short name, not the long name. You put in your password, and then you put in your secret. Okay, and once you have all of that in there, you will then have a, a configuration set up for your server, and you can see I've got that there. So let's go ahead and just back all the way out and come back up to the top here. So I'm just going to throw the switch to connect to VPN and so it's going to go through the process of making that connection happen and you can see now we're connected to VPN. You can see the little slider at the top showing us that that's the case so now we know we're good. So I'm just going to swipe out of this and come back in and what we're going to do is use an application called Documents by Readle and so it's a free application. I'm just going to tap into Documents by Readle here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to services here for a minute and I'm going to add an account. And the account that I'm going to add is Windows SMB. You can see it right on there. So I come into Windows SMB and I can call it whatever I want. I can call it, you know, file share if I want to call it that. It's just whatever the service is that you want to call it. You can call it your server name. And then what I'm going to do is come in here under the SMB and I'm going to put in the local IP address of, of my share. Now this can be pretty much any computer on your network. So if you've got, you know, different shares connected to different drives or whatever, you can just put that in here. So I'm just going to add what I have for uh, my particular machine just like that. And so there's my there's my SMB setup. I don't I can put a domain in if I want to, but that's optional. And then I'm going to put in a username and password to get that set up. So let me go ahead and put that information in there. In fact, I'll probably change the name. But let me just put that information in there and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here I am back on my setup. I changed the name to iMac, but I put in my information there with the little uh, uh, with the username and the password. So I've got everything set and ready to go. And then I would just uh, click on tap on save, and it's going to check to make sure that it can connect. And everything's set. It says it can connect. We're good to go. So all I need to do now to connect to those shares is just tap on the iMac there and it's going to launch and there are all of my shares remotely on my iOS device on my iPhone through the combination of VPN and documents by Readle. So again, you can go through in system preferences, set up your file shares on any machine you've got in your local network and use this process to access those shares remotely. Okay, so it's just another way to do it, especially for those of you that are having problems with uh, the web dev setup. This way it's a great workaround and you'll still have access to those shares and everything should work out fine. So so hopefully that helps you get set up. Uh, again, if these videos are helpful for you, please hit the like button down below. Please subscribe because I do these uh, weekly, sometimes bi-weekly, uh, so you'll get updates right away. And uh, again, it just uh, really uh, helps motivate me to keep going because I love to do these things for you guys. So thanks so much for all your support. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.